One of the new events this year at OFC and FOEC is a special symposium on what we're calling Datacom, uh, moving beyond Datacom into the optical interconnects for the computer comm era. And so what we're seeing is that in the data communications, uh, capacity continues to, the need for capacity continues to increase. Uh, and it, similarly, in the computer com or in the computer world, the amount of processing required continues to grow. And what we're starting to see is that in order to, to do that type of processing, you have multiple computers connected together, um, and the bandwidth required to interconnect those machines to enable that processing, uh, in many cases, is starting to be to require optics. A follow-on beyond that would be in the future, uh, if we move beyond just connecting racks of computers. Um, Looking beyond, we're going to need to get into the, a mode of putting potentially thousands of processors on a single chip. Um, and when you look at interconnecting those, you know the the power dissipation in electronics is is too large to to enable that, and so optics may need to play a critical role there. Um, so this year, what we're what we've organized is something new uh, for OFC and FOEC, which is a special symposium uh, on this topic. Uh, we have four speakers uh, that will be coming in from some of the large uh, data server. Uh, areas from Google, uh, from Cisco, and then a couple of the uh, computer or the server architecture places like IBM and HP, and they'll basically be coming in to describe the problem. Uh, you know, what is the need for the bandwidth? How fast is it growing? Um, and what do we expect in the future uh, for optics? Uh, we'll combine with that group another group of guys who basically are looking at integrating uh, optical interconnects on a chip, and the goal is to make them both capable, you know, high bandwidth, and very cheap. And so there will be uh, four different approaches being discussed. Uh, two of the speakers will be from industry, uh, guys that are commercializing it, and a couple of the speakers will be from uh, academia. So it will be a, a very far-looking uh, look at how to achieve this type of interconnect capacity and in a nearer term what, what may be available soon in the future. Another hot topic is these newer or specialized networks uh, that we have in addition to our traditional you know, access, uh, FTTX and Rodan networks. Uh, we have data communication networks, data centers, or cloud computing uh, that is coming about. We have many panels and workshops uh, on these issues. Uh, we have uh, data centers that are tremendously uh, having a lot of storage, uh, as well as interconnectivity issues, as well as connecting the data centers throughout the country and throughout the world. You can think about Google, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and uh, all of the users trying to connect to these data centers um, and the carriers trying to connect uh, the whole thing together to the, to the end users. Uh, so we have uh, actually a speaker from uh, Google talking about their optical networks and we have uh, many panels with the carriers and equipment suppliers addressing issues, short distance interconnects within the data centers as well as uh, the different type of networking that is required uh, to connect all of these together. We also have uh, the invent of uh, the advent of peer-to-peer -peer networking and uh, how it impacts the user behaviors uh, and then what is, what is the impact to the capacity usage in the network uh, and uh, how it impacts uh, network planning, design, uh, to uh, address these different types of networking uh, that we have out there.